uh, so my <laughs> optional earlier was uh, geography but somehow i could not uh, uh, score much with geography so so let me tell you about my journey briefly so that you'll have a context so first three attempts i wrote with geography and i kept clearing mains uh, prelims even in the first attempt i cleared pre and in hindsight that was the worst thing that could have happened to me because i got stuck in that cycle so i uh, wrote my prelims and then i went ahead and wrote my mains with zero understanding nothing and i naturally did not clear and the next year i did the same things again with more intensity so i failed with greater intensity in the second attempt so this time okay it took me like two attempts to question myself okay something is going wrong here like i can't be so dumb <laughs> something i'm missing out so i started uh, evaluating myself a little bit and then i changed how i was writing and uh, how i was studying basically so i i uh, like threw away all the extra trash that i was having and i stuck to whatever i talked about earlier just notes on the syllabus topics and the current affairs that i felt were important so these i did and i cleared mains in the third attempt with this strategy but uh, somehow my option was pulling me back i had like, less marks on the option and uh, i did not clear the third attempt after interview so i thought okay let me go and appear for prelims again but i failed prelims in the fourth time so it was like a really really like it was the lowest of the low i could hit uh, as a both as a academic wise and even otherwise for my health uh, so but then i try to look at the positive side if i can just do something out of this and this is when it like struck me look this is the right time to change option uh, everybody was against it so the whole argument was you spent already so many years like why do you want to shift but it was not working out for me so there was a major risk uh, that i took the decision that i had to take it was a difficult decision but at the end of the day i went ahead and thought okay if this is not working for me let me just change it i don't care how many years i put in all i care is i have to clear this exam i need more marks in the optional so i shifted to anthropology and uh, uh, and for anthropology i prepared by myself i just stuck to again thumb rule one sheet of paper for every syllabus topic i never cared whether it this topic was from general studies or optional any topic from the paper if i cannot consolidate into a one sheet of paper that means i have not read it in the right way so i'll read it again but i'll make sure at the end of the day i'll come and summarize it in one sheet of paper and for this also again even for anthropology i had every single syllabus topic i had the introduction ready conclusion ready and these were all like nice a bit catchy introductions and catchy conclusions they are not difficult to make it's you, if you give some thought to it you will definitely be able to do that and uh, i prepared the notes very crisp notes and even while preparing the notes for anthropology i kept like i kept thinking from the perspective of an answer rather than understanding and you know uh, summarizing a topic okay if this question to come in were to come in the uh, exam how can i Uh, write it better how can i stand out so i incorporated a lot of uh, flow charts diagrams even in anthropology paper so this way i just stuck to the syllabus and i practiced a lot of previous years questions in fact i used to write the whole length paper of previous years so that i did and the practice also helped helped a lot like i wrote quite a few tests uh, tests mock tests for anthropology 